Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys 10 tips on how to find your personal style. I'm just gonna jump right into it guys. I am looking at my laptop because I do not want to forget anything that I have for you guys. So let's just jump right into it. Tip number one, define your style. And what I mean by define your style is, are you grunge? Are you classy? Are you street style? Are you chic? Are you vintage? Are you feminine? Are you sexy? Are you tomboy? All these different things that they are out there. There's so much to choose from. Buy some fashion magazines, guys, and figure out what your style is, okay? There are plenty of magazines that will actually help you with it, and you can see exactly what these styles are. Google some images, take a look, do some research, guys. Find out what you actually like first, and then go from there. So that's tip number one, define your style, okay? Tip number two is to find a style icon, okay? If you find a style icon, that does not necessarily mean that you should dress exactly like them, okay? Let's give you an example. Some people really love the way Rihanna dresses, okay? but you are not Rihanna. Rihanna made that her personal style, right? Okay, great. So Coco likes Rihanna's style, but Coco is not gonna dress like Rihanna. She may pull some ideas from Rihanna, but she's not going to take Rihanna's whole style because that's her style. I can't pull off what Rihanna pulls off. Okay guys, so find your, find your style out icon and kind of go from there and pick out things that you do like about how they style things and you know, and how they put things together. So that's tip number two. Tip number three would be kind of almost like tip number two, but you're gonna be personalizing this. So again, Rihanna dresses a certain way. I may like it, but I'm not gonna pull every single piece that Rihanna has and try to wear it myself because it's not my own style. Maybe I'll take how she wears suits maybe and then put my own spin on it so always personalize anything that you're finding because we all get ideas and inspiration from somewhere and we we do make it our own so personalize it and i'm a hundred percent sure that you will love it trust me guys so that's number three number four would be to purge your closet <sighs> this is a must do and I don't care if you have to take the entire weekend and don't do anything starting from Friday. Purge your closet, guys. Take out anything that does not fit your style. Once you define your style, go in your closet, take out anything that does not fit that style, okay? If you used to wear Jordans every day and you do not like Jordans anymore, okay? And you wanna wear shoes and sometimes sneakers, Jordans, you wanna, let's just say you wanna be like super dressed up dresses and, and skirts and pumps and boots all the time, right? If you do not want to wear a sneaker anymore, you can opt for a flat shoe, uh, a pointed flat, or you can opt for like an all white sneaker, which is still very feminine if you're going towards that way. But the Jordans may not fit. So get rid of things like that, sell them, just get them out your closet, okay? Because if you keep them in there, you are more likely to go and pick it up and wear it again. And that's what we're trying to get away from. We're trying to find our personal style and purging your closet would be a recommendation that I will always tell people is to start with purging your closet and getting rid of everything that you just, that's just not your style anymore. And guys, guess what? Now you have room for new stuff. That's the best part. We can shop, right? <laughs> so that's number four. Number five would be investing in accessories and pieces of clothing that will add to your personal style, okay? And I mean pieces like good quality pieces. If you like brooches, get brooches. If you are a hat person, buy some hats. If you like gloves, buy gloves, quality stuff. If you like earrings, you know, invest in some quality earrings. If you like necklaces, invest in that. Buy accessories and pieces of clothing that will, one, hold its value, and two, you know, add to your look. To me, guys, I've, I am all about quality, so 
So, and I'm not saying that you can't buy something cheap on the cheaper end. It's nothing wrong with that. But the majority of your closet should be of quality clothing so it can last you. And you don't have to buy stuff every season. Like you don't have to buy a new wardrobe every season. So that's tip number five, invest in clothing and accessories that will add to your look. Tip number six is to, once you purge your closet and you have new clothes, dress the part guys. Now you can start to dress the part. This is the fun part. Okay, so now you've gotten rid of your, let's use Jordans as an example. You've gotten rid of your Jordans, and I don't have anything against Jordan, guys. I'm just using it as an example. Um, you got rid of your Jordans now. Now you have all these shoes and dresses, right? You have to wear them. Wear them. Now, you're going to have some people, especially if you are, like, like I said, for example, if you were a Jordan wearer all the time, and all of a sudden you start wearing dresses and heels and stuff like that people are your family and your friends will have something to say but ignore them guys ignore them ignore them this is your personal style something that you're changing for yourself and trying to own so start to dress the part and get the ball rolling and just just go out there guys you already bought the clothes now just start to dress the part so that's tip number six is start to dress the part so you can get on this journey of your new personal style. Tip number seven, it goes along with that one, own it, okay? Now you have created this new style that you want for yourself, but you, you know, own it. Walk outside, be confident with it, you know? Again, the whole Jordan thing. <laughs> if you're going from Jordans to shoes, it may be a little diff different for you at first, but, Give you a couple of weeks and um, trust me, you will be in there like swim where. <laughs> I was corny. But you, you know, own it and just enjoy it. You know, you you've personalized this style for your for yourself. And now you can just own it and walk out in the street and take over, guys. So that's tip number seven. That's to own what you have created. Tip number eight. Uh, would be to pick a uniform and this is something that I was thinking about for a while because we are now stuck in the house because of the shutdown okay but we still have to go out to the store and stuff we still have to go grocery shopping a lot of us still have to go to work you know um I would say when I say pick a uniform I mean Something that you can throw on without even thinking about it, but it's still your personal style. So if you are a person who wears pumps all the time in dresses, okay, and you don't really necessarily want to wear that to the grocery store, but you could wear probably a midi skirt with like a, a nice top and some flat shoes or even white sneakers. That will keep you still in your style range but not over the top so pick things that you can just throw on that's still very well well put together that way you're not going back to what you used to do is the whole jordan thing guys <laughs> so that's number eight pick a uniform number nine is kind of really important stay away from sales oh my goodness sales are set up to take us down you understand me Okay, so think about it. When you're going shopping and you see a sale, we get excited. Oh my God, $59.99, $99.99, $2.99, whatever. But it makes you buy things that you actually do not need. And I find that what happens is you end up buying things that you used to wear because it's on sale. The things that we usually want, it's never on sale. So my recommendation is to have a shopping list, okay? Have a shopping list and pick from your shopping list. Now, I am not saying that you cannot impulse buy by all means because we all do it. But what I'm saying is that if you know you're going shopping, pick from your list because now you're starting to pick things from your curated list that you have created of quality items for your personal style. But if you're out and you buy one thing from your list and you actually see something else that can go with it, 
you can also get that but get the thing from your list because that way you're checking off the quality things from your list and these are the things that's actually going to last you for some time because one i said make sure you're picking quality things and i am all about cost per wear there is no need to have a bunch of cheap items in your closet and you have to keep buying them over and over and over and over do not do that guys it's it's literally a waste okay um so that's number nine stay away from yourself and my last tip would be stay true to who you are okay stay true to who you are again if we use rihanna as an example okay you want to dress like her but you already personalized it but if you are a person who likes to wear denim all the time and now you're incorporating shoes but you feel like shoes don't go with denim this is just a weird analogy right here but still wear your denim okay still wear your denim personalize it if you find a style icon who wears denim all the time pick from what they have see how they style it and go from there but still stay true to who you are as a person is the most important tip i don't care how much you elevate your look how much you level up stay true to who you are you know that is the most important tip that i can say to anybody out there especially young girls you know if you're changing how you are stay true to who you are if you are a person that likes to read all the time you know now you're elevating your look and you want to dress let's just say sexy that does not mean that you cannot read books anymore honey child <laughs> so keep stay true to who you are you'll feel so much better about it you'll feel much more confident you know yes you do change certain things about yourself when you do end up changing your style but your inner you is who you are okay guys so that's all I have for this video. Those are my 10 tips on how to find your personal style. And if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. And also, I want you to hit that subscribe button. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this or any fashion hauls or whatever it is. I am open to it all. But if you guys stay to the end of this video, please comment below. Coco, we see you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.